If you owned an iPhone back in the day, there's a good chance that you know about jailbreaking, which basically allowed people to hack their iPhones in order to get features that weren't normally possible to get. But you might be asking yourself, what happened to jailbreaking and why isn't it still talked about in 2023? So let's start with the history of jailbreaking and what caused it to ultimately go downhill. Now if you don't know, Cydia was made back in 2008 and it immediately took popularity among many iPhone users because it actually allowed people to download apps since at the time there was no app store and the app store was actually made about 6 months later or so but it still kept its popularity because it allowed people to download paid apps for free and on top of that it would also allow them to download apps that would normally cost money. Now besides being able to unlock certain app features, jailbroken iPhone users could also customize their home screen in ways that wouldn't be possible on a non-jailbroken iPhone. And because jailbreaking caused Apple to lose quite a lot of money, they decided to take the founder of Cydia to court, but ultimately they lost the case. However, to this day, Apple still claims that jailbreaking is illegal to do. So what caused jailbreaking to ultimately fail on iOS? Well, there's three different reasons for this. First off, being able to acquire paid apps for free was actually possible by downloading third-party app stores and those alternative app stores were easier to get than Cydia itself. And that brings us to the second reason, which is that Apple started patching many of the jailbreaks that were available on the iPhone. Now many iOS versions don't even support jailbreaking, like for example iOS 17 and afterwards does not support any kind of jailbreaking method, but the ones that do will require some really complicated steps which will involve a separate computer. So the third reason as to why jailbreaking ended up failing on the iPhone is that Apple actually added many of the features onto the iPhones. For example, this iPhone 6 here has some of the iPhone 10 gestures, so I could use these flashlight or the camera buttons on the lock screen. But of course, these features are already available on the latest iPhones. So is there even any use for jailbreaking in 2023? First off, jailbreaking an iPhone from 2023 is just not going to be useful. So what I recommend is that you jailbreak your older iPhone because many of the tweaks are still going to work on there. Like for example, I have this one here, which I already showed you guys earlier, but it basically allows my home button iPhone to have these iPhone 10 features, such as the buttons on the lock screen and also the swipe up navigation. Now another feature that I thought was pretty cool on this jailbroken iPhone 6 was the ability to download older apps that are no longer supported. For example, I have Spotify and Snapchat versions that are over half a decade old. And the last jailbreaking feature that I thought was pretty cool, which I don't have enabled right now, was the ability to use multiple apps at the same time. So it was essentially just a split screen feature from the iPad. I could just swipe up from the dock and just drag it here on top of my current app. Now what are some alternatives to jailbreaking? Well there's two that I can name. First off, there's Alt Store, which allows you to get third party apps and you could get it by searching how to get it on YouTube. And the second one is that if you want to run an emulator on your iPhone, those don't require jailbreaks anymore for most of them. So in order to do that without Cydia, just search up on YouTube how to download and then whatever emulator you want to get on your iPhone and you just follow the steps and it should work for you. So how do you jailbreak your iPhone? Well, my method is if you have iOS 14 or lower, you can just go onto Safari and search up ipa-apps.me. Then download Uncover version 8.0.2. And then once you download it, you just go into Settings, then General, and down here, you'll have to trust the developer of whatever app that you just downloaded or else it's not going to allow you to open the app and it's going to tell you that the developer isn't trusted. Now if you have an iOS version that's later than iOS 14 or earlier then just press in the link in the description and it'll pop up a YouTube channel which consistently uploads jailbreaking methods for devices that are running later software versions such as iOS 16 and at the time that I'm making this video they don't have an iOS 17 jailbreaking method, but they probably will have one eventually. So what's the future of jailbreaking? Well, jailbreaking probably doesn't even have a future. It's not going to last much longer. And the alternative app stores will continue to exist so that people can get paid apps for free. But jailbreaking is now disappearing and it probably won't come back.
Now that is it for the jailbreaking retrospective on the iPhone. I hope you all liked the video, and if you did, please consider liking the video, and I'll see you in the next one.